Welcome to your French class. In this class, we will do lesson 1 of your book Antigen for class 10th. So, let us start. Leçon 1. Retrouvons nos amis. Lesson 1. Let us find our friends. Je révise ce que je viens d'apprendre. Which means I revise what I have just learned. Question number 1. Chasse la moantru. In this question, you are supposed to find the odd one out. Number one, vin, vignoble, vendange, vin. Now here, vin means 20 is a number and others are related to wine. So we'll mark vin. Number two, fromage, fromager, fromagerie and fromon. Now here all the words mean like cheese, cheese maker, cheese dairy and wheat. Here, fromo is a wheat and others are related to cheese. So, we will mark fromo. Now, the third one is parfum, parfumé, parfumerie and parfait. Now, here, parfait is too perfect and others are related to perfume. So, we will mark parfait. Now, the fourth one is chocolat, chocolaté, chocolaterie, chaud. Now, here, shock is to shock and others are related to chocolate. So, we'll mark shock. Now, number five, la mode, la haute couture, le mode, la maison de couture. Now, here, we'll mark le mode. Le mode is mode and others are related to fashion. Now, we'll start next question, question number two. Rapproche les deux parties de chaque proverbe. Now in this question, the first part of the proverb is related to another part of the proverb. You have to find both the options and match them. Number one, il faut battre le fer. Here, this is an idiomatic expression which means if you see a good opportunity, you should seize it as soon as possible. For completing the whole proverb, you must match it with option C. Quand il est chaud. Il faut battre le fer quand il est chaud. Number two, loin de yeux, loin du coeur. Which means out of sight, out of mind. Or you can say far from the eyes, far from the heart. So for completing it, you need to match it with option E. Loin du coeur. Now number three, pierre qui roule n'amasse pas mousse. Which means a rolling stone gathers no moss. So, for completing this proverb, you need to match it with option A. Now, let's come to the next one. Four. Les bons comptes font les bons amis. Which means good fences make good neighbors. So, for completing this, you need to match it with option B. Number five. Si jeunesse savait, si vieillesse pouvait. This proverb means nothing ever occurs at the proper time in life. So, for completing this proverb, you need to match it with option F. Now, number six. Plus on est de fou, plus on rit. It is more fun with more people. So, it should be matched with option D. Now, number seven. Quand le vin est tiré, il faut le boire. It means if you have already opened that bottle of wine, you might as well just go ahead and finish all of it. So, for completing this proverb, you must match it with option I. Now, number 8. Avec des si, on mettrait Paris en beauté. Which means, if wishes were horses, then beggars might ride. So, for completing this, you must match it with option G. Now, let's come to the next one. It's number 9. Tout est bien qui finit bien. Which means, all's well that ends well. So, for completing this, you must match it with option J. Now comes the last one. Les petits ruisseaux font les grandes rivières. Which means small streams make big rivers. So, for completing this proverb, you must match it with option H. So, for doing this kind of questions, you must learn all the proverbs. Okay. Now, let's come to question number 3. Complete avec des adjectifs démonstratifs. It means complete with demonstrative adjectives. For doing this question, if you need to understand this concept in details, please go to the above link. 
Okay, now demonstrative adjectives are used to point out something and someone like this pen, that book, these boys, those girls, that exercise in this way. Okay, so we'll use sir for masculine singular nouns and set with double T E. We'll use for feminine singular nouns and we'll use set C E T for masculine singular vowel nouns. Then comes say. For all the masculine and feminine plurals, you will use say. Now sentence number one. Voilà une vue du haut de la tour Montparnasse. Which means here is a view from the top of the Montparnasse tower. Regardez ces magasins. Look at those stores. Regardez ce monde. Look at this world. Ce sont des gens qui font du shopping. These are people who are doing shopping. Regardez cette tour. Look at this tower. C'est la tour Eiffel. This is the Eiffel Tower. Regardez cette grande cathédrale. Look at this great cathedral. C'est Notre Dame de Paris. This is the Notre Dame of Paris. Et cet immeuble là, c'est le magasin. And that building is the store. C'est le magasin Fenac. This is the Fenac store. Now in this question, the first case, magasin, is written in its plural form. So we have used say. The second word, monde, is masculine singular. So we have used se. The third case, tour, is feminine. So we have written set. The fourth case, grande cathédrale, is also feminine. So we have written set. Set grande cathédrale. The last case, immeuble, is masculine and starting with a vowel. So we have used set, set immeuble. Okay, now comes the second question. Nous voilà devant le musée. Entrons par cette entrée. Now here, entrée, word is starting with a vowel and it is feminine. So we have used set. Because feminine vowel cases do not have any separate case for them. We use set for them also. Spelling remains same for feminine singular cases and for feminine singular vowel cases. Commençons par cette salle. Now, salle word is feminine, so we have written cette, cette salle. Observez ces tableaux. Tableau is masculine plural, so we have written ces, ces tableaux. Ce portrait est celui de Colbert. Now, portrait word is masculine singular, so we have used ce here. Cet homme a été conseiller des finances de Louis XIV. Now here, homme word is starting with a vowel and it is masculine singular. So we have used cet homme. So this is how we use adjective demonstrative in sentences in French. According to masculine, feminine and plural cases. So that's it for today. See you in the next video with the rest of the exercises. Till then, bye bye.